In section 5, we learned that we can quickly convert polygonal meshes to Catmull Clark sub Ds using the keyboard shortcut Shift Tab. This takes a coarse polygonal mesh and creates a smooth surface. If we'd like to crease or harden portions of the surface, we can create support edges, often referred to as hold edges. The closer the edges are to each other, the less room there is to smooth between those edges, which produces sharper edges. Another option for sharpening edges is to use edge weights. Start by selecting the edges you'd like to sharpen and activate the edge weight tool by clicking either the edge crease button in the model toolbar or the edge weight tool option from the vertex map menu. Left clicking and dragging in the viewport will increase the weight value. 0% uses the default interpolation of the surface. To create completely hard edges, increase the weight value to 20%. It's important to know that the weight value is directly connected to the subdivision level of the mesh. So to create a hard edge for a sub-D level of two, you'd use 20%. If the sub-D level were set to three, you'd need to set the weight value to 30%. If you'd like to see a visual representation of weighted surfaces, use the vertex map shading style. Another option in my preferred method of displaying weight values is to use the viewport show weight maps option. Spend some time adding hold edges and experimenting with edge weighting to get comfortable with both options. You can use each method independently or together on the same mesh, and having both in your toolkit will give you more options to work with on future projects.